Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. Hello friends, in this class we will be learning the binary tree. Uh, if you are new to this video, please go and watch our previous video uh, which is the introduction of trees. So in this class we will be discussing the binary tree which is a form of a normal tree which is one of the forms of normal tree. So binary means having two right by means two. So here in this tree every node has maximum of two children. Binary tree is a special type of tree in which every node can have a maximum of two children. So if you observe this uh, diagram here, uh, the node A, which is the root node, uh, it has got two children, namely B and C, and B has got two as well, D and E, uh, but uh, the object C, but the node C has got just one child. So there can be one child, any node can have maximum of two child, but not more than two children. If any node has more than two children, it won't be binary tree at all, right? Uh, one is known as left child and other one is known as right child, right? So this uh, node is known as left child and this node is known as right child. And same with this left child and right child. But this here, it has just got a right child, right? So this is a binary tree where every node has got maximum of two children but there can be one child also so we can also define the binary tree as a tree contains no node null tree or empty tree can also be called as binary tree because a node without any children is also considered as the binary tree uh, the binary tree uh, basic definition is a node can have zero child one child or maximum of two children. So that is the basic definition of binary tree or is composed of three disjoint sets of nodes. One is root node and a binary tree called left subtree and a binary tree called right subtree. So this is the minimum requirement, right? Uh, I mean a basic simple binary tree can be like this. A node, a left subtree and a right subtree, right? So this entire thing is considered as left subtree and this thing considered as right subtree. If we consider only this, D is considered to be the left subtree and D is considered to be the right subtree. And same with here, it has just got right subtree. Now let's understand what are the different types that we can have in binary tree. Complete binary tree is a form of a binary tree strictly binary tree and an extended binary tree. Let us look at each of them individually. What's a complete binary tree? A tree, a binary tree in which every internal node, that means non-leaf nodes, has exactly two children and all leaf nodes are at the same level is called complete binary tree. Right? So just observe this diagram here every internal node that means non-leaf nodes have got uh, the two children right so a has got two children b and c b has got two children d and e c has got two children f and g right and here at every level of complete binary tree there must be two power level number of nodes so this is zeroth level this is first level, this is second level, right? So what is the number of nodes at the zeroth level? Two power zero, that means one. So here, total number of nodes is one, which is true. So two power one, which is equal to two. So here, there are exactly two nodes, okay? And this is uh, second level, so two power two. So the power indicates the uh, level number. So here there are total number of uh, four number of nodes. So there should be two to the power level number of nodes at every level. So that is called as complete binary tree. So now what's strictly binary tree? 
a binary tree in which every node has either zero or two number of children is called strictly binary tree strictly binary tree is also called as fully binary tree or proper binary tree so here is the diagram here every node has got either zero elements or two elements i mean nodes a has got two b has got two e has got two c has got two and f you can have the node uh, without any children or you must have two right two or zero here it has zero 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 because they are leaf nodes there may not be any nodes right and b e and c a have got two children each so now the extended binary tree so the strictly binary tree obtained by adding dummy nodes what is strictly binary tree there can be zero or two nodes for every node right so strictly binary tree obtained by adding dummy nodes to a binary tree is called extended binary tree so this is the extension of a uh, binary tree if you are not having the strictly binary tree you, you can make any tree a strictly binary tree by adding some dummy nodes to to that binary tree so here it is so this is a simple binary tree okay so this is not a strictly binary tree but you can still add some dummy nodes like this to make it strictly binary tree now this is called extended binary tree but not exactly strictly binary tree when we uh, have added dummy nodes we call this as d e and g as dummy nodes to make it a strictly binary tree so now this is called as extended binary tree right when we add dummy nodes now how how we can represent a binary tree uh, in our c programming code or any code Uh, there are two representation one is array form of representation and another one is linked list representation first look at the array representation so if this is our binary tree this can be represented using the array so all the nodes can be stored in the array so a b c d e f are stored inside the array as the elements right So this is a linked list representation. Here each node is represented as a linked list node. And remember, each node has got info where the exact data is stored, and the left link and the right link. Right link stores the address of right child, and left link stores the address of left child. Right. So this is the linked list representation of the. a binary tree so this node represent any node right this node or this or this anything uh but not leaf nodes because when you have leaf node uh for the leaf nodes for d e and e f there will be null stored in left link and also in right link right so this is how we can represent a node but uh you know this is not the linear linked list where you can have another node stored here and this is pointing to the next node in the list but this is not the linear type of linked list but you can call it as pointer based binary tree right this is a pointer based where a node or uh, this is the variable of struct type where it has got three variables two of them are pointers one pointer stores the address of left subtree another pointer stores the address of right subtree and the data variable stores the exact data right so this is not the linear linked list so here is how we can represent every node so the left link stores the address of left subtree and right link stores the address of right sub if there is no child for any node you can store the null inside the pointer field right so all the leaf nodes contain null inside their address fields or pointer fields well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin thank you